Hello everyone and welcome to Fisimania. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the properties of vectors. If you want to look for specific sections of the video, please go to the box description. So without further ado, let's start. Okay, let's look at parallel vectors. If two vectors have the same direction, just as A and B here, we say they are parallel. But I want you to know that if two vectors, for example, A and B, have the same direction and have the same length, then we say that both A and B are equal. They are equal vectors. Now let's look at negative of a vector. We define the negative of a vector as having the same magnitude as the original vector, right? same magnitude, but in the opposite direction. And we describe this with a negative in front of the vector. Now let's look at antiparallel vectors. We define antiparallel vectors A and B when they have opposite directions. So I want you to note that when two vectors have the same magnitude but are in opposite direction, meaning when we have a negative of a vector, the vectors are said to be antiparallel as well. Now, how do we represent the magnitude of a vector? The magnitude of a vector is represented by using the same symbol for the vector, but with vertical bars on both sides, or by using the letter only, but with no arrow on top. So for example, the magnitude of A is the vector, but with these vertical bars, or just the symbol, that is, the representation of the magnitude of the vector. Now, there are two ways in which we can add a vector. One is geometrically, second is mathematically. But first, let's start by looking at the geometric way of adding a vector. Imagine we go from our home to the gas station by following a displacement ruled by vector A and then followed by vector B. Our final displacement is the same as if we had gone straight from our home to the gas station. And this displacement is what we would call vector C. We call displacement C the vector sum or resultant of displacement A and B. And we can express this displacement symbolically by writing C is equal to A plus B. Something I want you to realize is that when we add these vectors geometrically, meaning when we bring the vector to a paper drawing, we usually place the tail of the second vector at the head or the tip of the first vector. Now, if we trace a straight line or arrow from the tail of the first vector to the tip of the second vector, we will get a resultant vector, in this case, or vector C. If we have more than two vectors, the same process applies to find a resultant vector or our vector sum. Okay, so let's look at this example. Victor travels one kilometer to the north and two kilometers to the east. Draw each displacement and its resultant displacement. Okay, so how do we start? First, we have to know from where Victor starts to travel. So we're going to say that Victor starts to travel from the center of the cross. Okay, that's our first step. First, starting point. Second, is to draw the first vector. The first vector travels one kilometer to the north, which is the displacement of Victor. So we're going to say 
that this is the first vector and is one kilometer, as we can see, to the north. Okay, so draw first vector. Now, the third step is to draw our second vector. Now, as we mentioned before, to draw the second vector, we must place the tail of the second vector at the tip of the first vector. So our second vector travels two kilometers to the east, right? So the tail of the second vector is going to start at the tip, as we can see here, of the first vector. And we're just gonna draw it to, towards the east. And we say this is the second displacement, which is two kilometers in the eastward direction. Now, what is our resultant vector? Our resultant vector will be our fourth step, our fourth step and final step to solve the problem. Draw resultant vector. Now, how do we draw our resultant vector? Easy. We start by by drawing the tail of the resultant vector at the tail of the first vector so we start here and then we finish our second vector by joining its tip with the tip of the second vector as we can see here so this will be a resultant vector which we're gonna call r with a an arrow on top and this is how you will draw each displacement and you will draw each resultant displacement geometrically using a geometric a geometric approach let's look at the geometrically subtraction of vectors we can subtract vectors as well as add them how do we subtract, subtract a vector well, remember that the negative of a vector has the same magnitude as the, as the vector, but the opposite direction. We can simply define our vector subtraction to be a sum using this property. We can say the difference of the vector A minus the vector B is simply the sum of vector A plus the sum of the vector negative b. So for example, if we wanted to go from our home to our friend's home, we could follow vector a and then we, we will just add vector b but in the opposite direction. So we will add the negative of vector b and this will lead will take us to our friend's home and it will give us a subtraction of vector geometrically. With this, we finish today's video and in the next video we will be looking at the mathematically ways of adding a vector and subtracting a vector. So see you next time. Thanks for watching.